All right, today we're going to mess around with compression and overdrive together. I'm a real big fan of smooth overdrive. Can't get enough of it. Can't get enough of discovering ways to get it. I like a natural tube amp tone, uh, slightly warmly driven. You know, that's my favorite tone. I, I use a lot of different overdrive and distortion tones, but uh, that's the one that I perpetuate to the most. Uh, we're going to start out with uh, compressor. I'm using an ultra bass today because it's what I have in stock. Um, <clears throat> I'm using it for guitar, which is, you know, it's fine. The way I set my compressor, first of all, is I will choke my strings and slap my guitar with the pick. And then I'll try to uh, replicate that same volume until I match it. Like that. Now it'll seem slightly louder because this is pretty much replicating the loudest volume of my string slap. So it'll seem like that, but it gives the feel of playing through a loud amplifier, which is what we all really like to do. Some nice sustain. Just compressor, and uh, this is one of my old uh, my Blue Mesa prototype for my Humphrey Audio Blue Mesa drive. Uh, that's available by custom order, so there's only about a hundred of them out there in the world. I've been building these for about 15 years or so. It's a little gritty. It's kind of a gritty little little overdrive thing going on. It doesn't it doesn't get too over the top if I crank it. Excuse me. Not really a smooth overdrive. We can make it that really quick by utilizing the compressor. It allows me to turn the drive down. One of the reasons why we run drive high is to get that sustain, uh, that harmonic complexity. Uh, here the compressor can do all of that and then feed the overdrive. <laughs> Without compressor, kind of loses its luster, and I would be inclined to pump the drive up to get that sustain and that harmonic content back. But then that's too gritty for me. So I'm going to use the compressor. Another thing that the compressor allows me to do is to uh, turn my volume knob down on my guitar without losing harmonic content because the compressor basically has my back. It's not going to let my uh, tone completely just diminish and go away. So I'm cleaning it up just by turning. That's on about 7 out of 10 on the guitar. If I want it more, I'll take it down to five. Then I can.
can jump it back up to 10 for more drive or for souls. <laughs> So hopefully you get the point about using a compressor and overdrive together so you can smooth out your overdrive, you know, for a smoother, less gritty tone and you let the compressor carry the sustain without having to uh, push the drive control to do that. It's a great combination. Um, I build my pedals as quiet as I can get them, so even running these two together, if these were, if this was a stock compressor it'd be noisy you'd, you'd hear the hiss and the noise of it but this is one of my modified versions so I take a lot of that as much as can be taken out I take out so it's pretty and these are single coil pickups too so this is pretty dead quiet um, this is through my bench test amplifier which is a 1968 Electrolab uh, it's just probably maybe a 12 or 15 watt little lamp so it's not the greatest sounding thing in the world but uh, Every pedal that I do uh, gets tested through that, so it does tell the truth, if nothing else. So there, I hope you learned a little bit of something that uh, might take you into uh, dragging your own gear inside and uh, experimenting with compression and overdrive together if you don't already do that. Have fun.